We're here in beautiful Beijing, China, and today we have the Wuling Air EV, and we are in the Hutongs, the little, small, tiny alleys of Beijing. And we're gonna take this small car into the big city, see if we can get some high life action. So to tell you a little bit about Wuling, this is a car brand that is super popular in China. And I mean, super popular, like millions of views for people who have these cars and millions of people who are buying them for their personalization. You can trick it out. There's people who have made like entire Hello Kitties or Pokemon Wulings, and that's the Mini EV. This is their new car, the Air, and I am really excited because this is a car that I think is going to do really well. It's a pleasure to drive, it's a lot of fun, and we're gonna show you all the things it can do. If you don't know about Hutongs, they are Beijing's old town city, and they are known for being very narrow, very difficult to navigate, and somewhat maze-like and they're a very historic and lovely place that you can visit in Beijing if you ever come here. Driving the Air EV in the city is really a pleasant experience. This model is the four seat, two door version. So there is a working back seat and it does do just fine. And this will set you back about 83,000 RMB or 12,000 US dollars. So not a bad price for a small car. Although I do think the price is a little bit high. So we just got back from our Hutong trip, doing exactly what we should be doing in a subcompact EV, which is taking it to those hard reach places in the city that usually people take the subway to get to, where in a full-size car, it's not very convenient to drive. This car performed great taking those tight turns, those hard to reach places, no problem. If you like subcompact cars, but maybe you're like, ah, I want four doors, I want it to be a little bit bigger. Um, Wuling also has the Bingo, which is a four door car, uh, same, same price range and similar features. The Air and the Bingo both feature pretty similar specs with the Air being a 28 kilowatt hour battery as well as a 300 kilometer range. The Bingo being a little bit bigger with a 32 kilowatt hour battery and the range being just a little bit longer at 333 kilometers. The Wuling Air has a lot of interesting stylistic components. Uh, across the front here, which breaks up the bunted look, is this halo, and it has a LED strip here, which is a running light, which is going to increase your visibility, which in a small car is pretty important. Uh, the LED lights look great on the road, and you can see everything that you need to see. And across the front here, we have the Wuling logo, which is your charging point, which is a really interesting choice, and it lights up and looks good as well. Being a subcompact car, you really are not going to get the sleekest, the coolest looks. And when I said this is a boxy feel, that's kind of being the most generous I can with it, because this is a slab. And there is this black trim to break it up. There is this decal sticker here, because this is the same color paint as it is underneath it. And that's okay. Um, the looks of this, Overall, it looks good, but it doesn't look great. The back of the air continues to give it a designed feel, having this wingtip here to break up the boxiness, having this halo strip here to increase the visibility as well, and the cohesiveness of having it in the front and in the back. And of course, you've got your brake lights here and a working hatch. It features keyless entry and keyless start, and the key itself looks pretty good. 360 cameras for when you're taking tight turns and backing up. You have your no touch start as well as your shifter for parking reverse neutral and drive but you can take some stuff around as usual we'll talk about the things that we like and don't like overall the air is designed cohesively where everything in it that has this like future feel the overall design is cool especially the halo in the front the halo in the back um, the other thing that we like is of course the fast charging the convenience of having a small subcompact car to go to those places in the city that are normally hard to drive. The other thing is the Mini EV from Wuling was a car that got heavily, heavily customized. And I would see, I would expect to see that those things will be available for this car once it's on the market and a lot of people get it. As for the things that we don't like, the pedals have two problems. One, they're accessible from the side seat passenger, which is a bit of an issue because side seat driving can actually happen if the passenger extends their legs into the accelerator or the brake pedal. Um, there's not much of a divide between them, which also means if you drop something, it is very easy to impede the function of the brake or accelerate pedal, which can be dangerous. Uh, the other thing that we don't like is 
The pedals themselves do not have a one-to-one -one ratio, so depending on how much you press, you're not exactly going to get as much as you might expect from the brake or the accelerator. The third thing that we don't like is the seat adjustability, which cannot be adjusted vertically, and that is due to the battery, which has to be shrunk and uh, makes it a little bit higher, taking away from the interior space just a little. The good things are it doesn't drive like a golf cart. Um, it's roughly the size of a large golf cart, uh, but it doesn't drive like one. It, do it drives more like a car. Uh, the suspension and the stability feels very car-like, although this is definitely not a car I would be driving fast. Um, the other thing is that the stopping and starting can be a little tricky. With the, the brake gives a little more than you would think and sometimes a little less than you would think, but it does stop rather quickly because it doesn't weigh a lot. And then accelerating can be also a little tricky. When you put your foot on the accelerator, there's a little bit of a dead space. And then also to get to be going fast, one of the things that I would say is not even I don't like, it's just a holy cow, this is a really bad feature, is on the middle console is your parking brake. If you're driving and you pull up on it, it will act just like you pulled up on a manual parking brake and start to engage, which can be quite dangerous. So if your window's down and you want to roll it up, the button haptically feels exactly the same as your, as your, uh, as your roll up. The button itself is a little bit of a texture to it that feels different, but it's really easy to confuse it. And I did just that while we were driving and the car made a horrible grinding sound, although it did not stop. The price of the Air and the Bingo to me is a little bit high, but if you live in a highly population dense city, thinking like Tokyo, Beijing, uh, or New York, 8 million people, Beijing has 22 million people, these places, a subcompact car like this is very convenient. So if you have the money to spend, both of these are really good options. So if you have any ideas about our next video or what cars we should be looking at, please drop us a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.